Good evening, friends, and welcome as we begin this year with our first rest, our time when we're going to give thanks to God, recall His unfailing love to us throughout this day that He's given us, when we recall all that He has done, when we rest in His promise and in His Word. Tonight, the first night, and every night to come throughout the year. Let's do that by opening in the Word of God right now to the Song of Solomon, the first chapter, verse 4. We will exult and rejoice in you. This is God's Holy Word, and we're using Charles Spurgeon's Evening by Evening to look at it tonight. Here's what Charles writes. We will be glad and rejoice in you. We will not open the gates of the year to the sorrowful notes of the organ, but to the sweet strains of the harp of joy and the high-sounding cymbals of gladness. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. We that called and faithful and chosen will drive away our griefs and set up our banners of confidence in the name of God. Let others lament over their troubles. We with joy will magnify the Lord eternal spirit, our effectual comforter, we who are the temples in which you dwell will never cease from adoring and blessing the name of Jesus. Jesus must have the crown of our heart's delight. We will not dishonor our bridegroom by mourning in his presence. We are ordained to be the minstrels of the skies. Let us rehearse our everlasting anthem before we sing it in the halls of the new Jerusalem to come. We will exalt and rejoice. Two words, but one sense. Double joy, blessedness upon blessedness. Need there be any limit to our rejoicing in the Lord even now? Don't men of grace find their Lord to be the sweetest of incense even now? And what better fragrance are they in heaven itself? We will be glad and rejoice in you. That last word is the meat in the dish, the kernel of the nut, the soul of the text. What heavens are laid up in Jesus? What rivers of infinite bliss have their source, I, and every drop of their fullness in Him? Since, O oh sweet Lord Jesus, you are the present portion of your people, favor us this year with such a sense of your preciousness that from its first to its last day, we may be glad and rejoice in you. Let January open with joy in the Lord, and December close with gladness in Jesus. Every day this year, <coughs> you'll hear me talk in one way or another about the sunrise. You see it on that opening image that I use, a sunrise over the shepherd's church with the mountains in the background. The sunrise is a double entendre. We're going to be talking about the sun, of course, in the sky, a brand new day, but truly the son of God. He who gives you the ability Ability to rise up and gives you a new day. He who is risen from death. A sunrise. For you are a son or daughter of God now. A child of mighty God. Through our brother Jesus who saves us and opens the way for us. God put the sun in the sky. God sent his son to live and to die. And God has asked you his son or daughter, to rise up anew with Christ in this life. And he's provided for you a way to do it in the life to come. God does all that for you. There's plenty of reason to rejoice. But everything that we're talking about is centered in him. We're talking about rejoicing in him, rejoicing in Jesus. That is the start to our year this year. That 
is the promise that's been given to us. That is why we will stay in his word, rejoicing in all that he tells us. <coughs> Pardon me. Wrestling <coughs> with the parts that we don't quite understand or we're not used to hearing. But we will stay in God today and every day of this year. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to rest tonight in God's word. Close out this day thanking him for it and looking forward to 364 more days this year when we can rise in his word in the morning and rest in his word in the evening. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. This is Motorcycle Pastor saying, I'll see you in the morning.